It sparked a movement across this country. The fight for Britney Spears' freedom also put a spotlight on court-appointed conservatorships. Now, her father, Britney's father, was conservator of her estate, controlling much of her life up until very recently. And our Denver 7 Investigates team has spent months uncovering how that same system is taking advantage of vulnerable Coloradans. Investigative reporter Jennifer Kovaleski says she's discovered there were plenty of warnings about the broken system. It's just that no one listened. I just can't believe that in this country, we can't protect our vulnerable citizens. 10 years later, do you believe it's still happening? I do. I don't think anything has changed. It's been 10 long years since Caroline Kamick lost her job. They fired me because I was a whistleblower. She blew the whistle on Denver's probate court, a system she says was failing to protect vulnerable adults from abuse. What would you say is the most egregious thing you saw as you were investigating these various cases? Well, I think it was the money that was lost. And we're talking about millions of dollars in some estates. All these years later, Denver 7 Investigates found the same system continues to bleed estates with little oversight. That's the real tragedy of it all, is that they, they continue to do this. So you got $104,000 conservator fees with family after family sharing stories of losing everything. My mom got kidnapped in the middle of the night. This is want my money. Within two years, all the money was gone. It starts with a petition to the court, something anyone can file if they think a person is mentally unfit to handle their life. If a judge agrees and no family members are able to step in, they can place them under either a guardianship or conservatorship. Outside strangers who then have control over all aspects of their life and finances. These conservators, once they're appointed, it's really hard to get them removed. A conservator handles all their legal decisions and money, while a guardian takes care of their personal and medical needs. They can both charge large fees to the family member's estate. Attorneys charge 300 bucks an hour. Just like we've seen play out with Britney Spears, her father had been her sole conservator for 13 years, and his law firm charged her estate millions of dollars in legal fees, sparking the Free Britney movement. The judge suspended Jamie Spears as her conservator last month. It's a great day for Britney Spears, and it's a great day for justice. The court was not doing its job. Going back to Kamek's story, she saw our reporting and couldn't believe it was still happening. It's the definition of insanity. She says Denver's probate court hired her after this scathing 2006 audit. And so they hired me to come in and quote unquote clean up the mess. The audit found guardians or conservators were failing to file the necessary court reports and many were charging estates excessive fees. An audit in 2011 and again in 2017 found the same problems, the same warnings ignored. And Nothing has been done. Kamek says during her time on the job, she found guardians failing to file reports with the courts for years. One even lost track of an HIV positive man who was out having unprotected sex. There had not been a report filed in five years where we did not know where he was. And for a matter of public safety, we needed to know where he was. Kamek believes she was fired for what she uncovered and filed this wrongful termination lawsuit a suit which would end in a settlement. I got $10,000, but I thought this would be the catalyst to getting something done about all of this wrongdoing. But all these years later, she says the same problems exist. The same problems are being ignored. People are making money off of these vulnerable citizens. State Representative Kim Ransom says she wants to take action. They need to have some type of oversight and there really needs to be some accountability for these guardians. Ransom told us she is looking to introduce a bill next session that would better protect those under guardianship. It would also put some kind of cap on the fees guardians and conservators can charge. Colorado's Chief Justice declined our request for an interview and the court system wouldn't comment on the settlement. We will stay on top of this. I'm Denver 7 investigative reporter Jennifer Kovaleski.